Now, Leonardo has been stepping up his game in terms of the quality that's been able to produce. So in this video, I'll be showing you ways that I create even better coloring pages and covers with Leonardo AI. So you guys have been asking me for a lot more videos regarding Leonardo AI, but I have been waiting for the quality of their images to improve so that they can be used. And now with some of their features, I think the quality is now there. Just the way I feel that it can start challenging mid-journey and creating good images on a consistent basis. So I do have a subscription and I've actually been testing it out and I've really been impressed with actually what I've seen so far. So let's take a scroll through some of these images. So for these first images here, you can see the level of detail and how quality these are. You can even think that they were created in mid-journey. That's how good this tool has got. And then scrolling further down, we can see a few of the coloring pages that I have been creating and you can still see how much detail there is in these images and scrolling further down, we can see more bowls of fruit. I was just testing out different styles and features that are included in Leonardo. Then further down, we can see a cat portrait with a floral background. And again, just the level of detail is really impressive. And these can definitely be used as covers for, for coloring books. Again, you would think that these were created in mid journey. And then you can take a look at some of the coloring pages. And this is me again, testing and trying out different styles within Leonardo. And then I was testing out different covers and coloring pages for a tropical beach. So here we've gone for a kind of cartoon style cover. Here there's a kind of photorealistic style. And then here is more of an illustrative style. And then you can see with the coloring pages how detailed. I think a lot of these are really good and I would definitely use them within a coloring book that I would sell on Amazon. But let me know in the comments about what you think about some of these coloring pages. Now let's take a look at some of these features that I have been using to create some of these covers and coloring pages. If you don't understand any part of this, I have already created a complete step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to use Leonardo AI to create coloring books. So you can watch that to get yourself up to speed. Using the image generation tool, some of the features that I have been using to create these better covers and pages. Firstly, the model that I've actually been using is the Dream Shaper version seven. I found this to be the best for coloring pages so far and then turning on the alchemy feature on the left hand side actually greatly improved the level of detail and quality of my colored images that I'd use for the covers so to understand this new alchemy feature all you need to do is just click on the question mark here and you can see that it explains that it brings incredibly high fidelity image generation and coherence to all existing platform models so you get higher resolution you get a contrast boost and you get resonance so it adds more details to your images so for those who are on the free account you can only use this for five times i think however for paid users you do have full access to this i'll quickly just show you the difference between when you have the alchemy feature off and then when you have it on so this first image here of a cat portrait cartoon style with a floral background we can see does actually come out a bit flat the colors aren't super interesting but once I turn the alchemy feature on you can see the huge difference between both images this is what I talk about in the level of detail that it adds you can see with the flowers everything just looks so much more realistic and if you use that as a cover on Amazon I think that would really attract buyers a lot more than the first set of images now another thing that I have had on to create these better covers and coloring pages is the prompt magic on the left hand side and what this does is it actually provides greater prompt adherence and it also greatly improves the output of any chosen model so quite a few times with Leonardo you might create images with two heads or you might see things that you didn't write into your prompt however turning that on I found in most cases gets rid of a lot of that so you just get more consistent images though just be aware that using this it will actually use a lot more of your tokens so if you usually generate four images then it's going to use a double that so it will take up eight tokens instead and then plus using the alchemy tool that will take up another four tokens so to generate a lot of these images actually used up 12 tokens 
which if you are on the free plan of 150 tokens per day, then it's going to eat up a sizable amount into your tokens. And this is why I went with the subscription, just to really test it out and to see what I can do with this. However, for the coloring pages, the alchemy tool was a little bit hit and miss. In this instance, I tried to get a bowl of fruit on a small table uh, coloring page. However, it just wasn't quite getting what I wanted and it kept on cutting it off on the edges so we couldn't see the full bowl. However, as soon as I turned the alchemy feature on, it just really improved the quality of the image. So you can actually start now seeing a table in the background. We can see a few features such as a jug of water, some plants in the background and there's just so much more detail within the image. So it did really help in this instance and with the alchemy feature you also get a few different types of settings that you can choose from. In that instance for the bowl of fruit I actually chose none but the feature was still on. And that was because I previously tested quite a few of these settings and they just really didn't work with the colouring pages and I'll show you in this instance. So the two images to the far right hand side, I've actually used the alchemy feature and the illustration preset and you can see if we just zoom in a little bit that these colouring pages, they are super detailed however there is just too much grayscale and there's not enough areas that we can actually color in so I personally wouldn't use this as a coloring page. Although if we just go above and take a look at some of those coloring pages where I've turned the alchemy feature off and the prompt magic feature is still on you can see the clear difference in what I'm talking about. There's a lot of areas that you can color in and these are really decent coloring pages. Now another unique part of Leonardo AI is the image editor. So what you can do is just familiarize yourself with this tool and you can come over to the left hand side. So at the top we've got the pan and this will just allow you to move the image around. Then we've got the snap tool and this is just a selected area where you'll be able to do your editing. After this we have the draw mask and we've got the arrays and then we've got the sketch and then you can upload your image and then underneath that is where you can download your image. Then to the right hand side Side, you gotta make sure that you choose the exact same model that you've used to create your images and then we've got canvas mode and there's a few settings in here but we're just going to go over the in paint and out paint and this will help us specifically with our cut off images so we can add things on so they look more like a full coloring page then in order to choose our coloring page that we want we can go to upload image then we don't even need to download it we can actually choose from previous generations and you can just scroll down and select the image that you'd like to edit so I've chosen this image here and we can see that on both sides that the fruit bowl and the fruit has been cut off now I like to start off by just slightly adjusting the frame so you can always zoom in or zoom out then to allow us to edit this image we need to set up the snap tool and make sure that we get our measurements right. So to increase the size of this all we need to do is go to the right hand side again and we have a slider that we can use to make sure that we get the measurements right so we can just increase the width first. Now we want to leave some space on the outside of our coloring page just so that this will allow us to add to those areas of the coloring page and once we feel happy that everything is in the middle and we sized up properly then we can go to the height and just make sure that you align it to the height of the coloring page. It doesn't need to go further as we're fine with the top and the bottom of the coloring page. It's only the sides that we want to increase and make sure that we can see all of the bowl. So once you're happy with all the settings on the right hand side, all you need to do is go to the prompt at the bottom and just write the word continue and then click generate. And what this will do is continue the image in the blank space that we've left. This uses up four tokens as on the right hand side we've chosen two number of images so it's given us two options that we can choose from and you can just use the arrows to scroll across. Now I'm happy with the first one as I can just put a border around it and make sure you choose accept for the option that you do like and then all you need to do is download your coloring page and also upscale it. You can use a free upscaler that I've recently done a video about called upscale. Now if you want more access to Leonardo beyond the limited free account I would go with the Apprentice account as that's the one I have. You get 8,500 tokens per month which is more than enough. 
You don't need to upscale using Leonardo. I've got several videos about tools you can use. And then you're able to do up to five pending jobs at one time. You've also got private generations, which I always recommend as people like to steal ideas. So it's important to keep your own work private. And comparing that to mid journey, I currently have the $60 a month subscription where I get 30 hours fast generations. I also get stealth image generation, which does keep my images private. However, this is a lot more costly. So for me, it's nice to see mid journey have some competition. The better more tools get, then the better the overall AI space becomes. But I will be doing a lot more videos using Leonardo AI. So look out for that soon. Thanks for watching another video and let me know what you think in the comments.